Hi, I'm Jani. I'll be taking you on a tour around Affinity Designer. We'll start from the very basics. You'll see this screen when you open the Affinity Designer app. This is where you will choose your canvas or page. As you can see there are many options of preset sizes such as A4, A5 and so on. If you look along the top here, you can see there are many options of what type of page you would like, even specific ones for devices like iPad and iPhone. I'm gonna choose a custom page so go to My Presets. Here you can change the page width and height, and you can also change the units, millimeters, inches. I'm going to go with pixels. Once you've got your page set, click Create. Now, you might notice your layout looks slightly different to mine, but don't worry, that's just because I've moved some things around, there shouldn't be any huge difference. So, first we'll go through some of the tools on the left side here. Let's start with the shapes, it's pretty simple. Just grab the shape you want, and drag it out to the size you want. Now, you'll notice when you're dragging out your shape, it's flexible and you can move it freely, but you might want to create a shape with a locked equal ratio, such as a square or circle. To do this, just hold shift as you drag out your shape. An important tool here is the Move tool, which, as I'm sure you've guessed, is used to move your components around. You can also use it to rotate and resize. And the same as before, hold Shift to lock the ratio. Next, is the Node tool. To use this, we must select our shape, then click Convert to Curves. Now, when you grab a node, you'll be moving just this corner. You can also click anywhere along a line to add a new node. Or, click and drag any point along the line to curve it. There are some more important things you should know about the node tool, but we'll get into those details in another video. You'll see a small white arrow next to some of the tools. This just means there are more tools behind them. For example, there is one on this shape here, and when we click it, it opens up more shapes. Next, we'll move on to zooming. There are many ways to zoom in and out, but the fastest and easiest ways is to hold control and scroll using the mouse. So, control and scroll up zooms in, control and scroll down zooms out. To pan around, or look around, when you're zoomed in, push down the scroll wheel and move the mouse around, or hold spacebar and click and drag the mouse. On the right hand side here, you'll see the color wheel. With your shape selected, select different parts of the wheel and triangle to adjust your color. From here you can also change the color of the outline of your shape. Just click this ring shape above the color wheel, and select your color. To change the thickness of the shape outline, go to Stroke, and you can adjust this slider here. Now, let's take a look at the text tool. Just drag it out and type in your text. You can quickly change the font in the top left here. And use the color wheel as normal to change the color. Clicking this button with the letter A, the character button, will give us this floating window, in which we can make more changes to your text. For example making the text bold, underlined, and changing the letter spacing and height. I hope this tutorial has helped you learn the basics of how to use Affinity Designer. This really is a great software for both newbies and professionals. It's definitely a cost-effective and worthy investment. If you learned something from this tutorial and would like to see more Affinity how-tos like this one, please support us by liking and subscribing. And as always, leave any questions in the comments section and I'll be happy to help.